Hey, it's been a while since my last progress video, a uh, year to be exact. You might be wondering, uh, where are the videos? Where have I been? Well, in short, I moved houses and my mental health hasn't been good, so I wasn't up to the task of making videos. I have uploaded a couple of YouTube shorts and TikToks in the meantime if you want to check them out though. I also have been recording clips of my progress the whole time, so now I have a lot of clips to go through and edit into videos. So progress videos are coming back. Now, you might have forgotten what was going on with my Iron Man Skiller and in the last episode, episode 17, was basically me getting 99 Hunter on Herbivore and I ended the episode with buying a Hunter skill cape. Without further ado, let's get into this episode. To begin, I was cleaning up all the fossils that I needed to finish off the fossil displays in Warwick Museum, because those fossil displays are going to give me a lot of XP lamps. I was going to try to stack, or not stack, but keep all the lamps in the inventory to use them all at once, but now I realized I can't do it because there are too many lamps coming up. So let's gain the slayer first of many slayer experiences a level perhaps 53 slayer these are the final fossils fossilized stuff that i can put inside of the museum And now we have every single display filled up. Nothing I can click there, nothing I can click there, and nothing I could click there. Let's get the next batch of experience. Up to 57 Slayer, that is so huge, and exactly 120k XP gain from all of these fossils. This is big, and I'm 1.2k XP away from the 58 Slayer. This was huge, so many total levels, so much XP gain today. This has been a really good day. 87 crafting, a big XP upgrade. I get go from 55 xp from one molten glass making them into land lenses i can now make dogashun light orbs which is the highest tier thing you can make from molten glass and my xp goes to 70 each so 15 xp more per molten glass and i have over 30k molten glass to go through so it's gonna add up tremendously a dragon impling over there i was so stoked after that 9900, I completely forgot that I have to catch some dragon implings, but I can now do it barehanded because I'm over 93 and I got some applies. Well, not too bad for the first dragon impling. Of course, the goal is to get glories. 90 crafting, here's another 90 skill, and the thing I can actually do is redwood birdhouses. Then I headed up to the desert and did a sleeping giant's quest. The quest is really short and easy one to do, it is just an introduction and tutorial for Giant Foundry, which is a smithing minigame, which lets you use normal bars or metal items to make swords for giants, and the point for there is that you get more XP per bar than normal smithing, which means you need less bars and in total less resources to finish off your smithing goals. Well, this was a pleasant surprise. I got 1450 total level just because I hit 88 smithing, 50 levels until 1500. That's gonna be a long way to go. All right, let's hand in this sword and I think that's enough. I have enough points to buy every single of these new molds. Oh, it actually puts me up when I buy one. Okay, let's just click here. And then they go away from the list. Okay. Well, this is easy. Actually, I knew I could have gotten more points and maybe even XP if I bought these earlier. But I just thought it's gonna be fun. <laughs> 
to mass buy all of these new molds. There we go. And the shop now only contains the double ammo mold, Kovax Grog, Smithing Catalyst or Pack. These three are really cheap. The ammo mold is kind of cheap. Then there is of course the Smith's outfit, the tunic, trousers, boots and gloves, which are for 4k and 3.5k of these parts, and then the Colossal Plate for 5k. If I'm not mistaken, ore packs are bad. I don't think I need the Croc to boost my smithing anyway, and smithing catalyst gives double XP on one part that you make with coal, so it also halves the coal amount of using on a regular furnace, but in blast furnaces only gives double XP, but one catalyst is used per one bar. Double MMO mold. Um, it's not like I'm going to be smelting cannonballs, but it's a, it's a collection log item from here, like every one of these are. And uh, it's just not, it's not that expensive, I'm gonna buy it. Then the Colossal Blade, like I said, never gonna use it, I'm a skill, I can't use it. Nice to have it in the bank. And then the Smith's Outfit, it doesn't give any XP boost bonus, but what it does is, if you have the full outfit et equipped, or you are wearing the full out outfit, you will smith everything on an anvil one tick faster, so it's actually gonna increase smithing XP outside of Giant's Foundry. So the normal way of smithing, you're gonna get faster XP. So I just wanna get every single one of these out of the way. And actually the molds that I just bought are not collection log items, so that's why they don't get the pop-ups. So anyway, I don't know how many bars, how long I can do this with the bars I am I currently have in the bank, but I would like to get, I am 88 and I am 27% to 89. 90 would be cool, but I don't know if I can, <laughs> if I can be asked to do this all the way to 90 in one go. Let's hand in this sword. 23k XP, a new commission, and 9 this smithing a big 90. Still gotta continue doing this because I wanna unlock every single reward and I think I have enough bars to actually do it. Second genie today. And that is level up of Slayer. 58. So cool. Now, this is the sword number 100. Well, this is nice. I completely forgot that I was gonna get the level up. But here we go. 92 smithing halfway to 99. 93 smithing. Let's hand this one in. This is actually the sword zor right after getting the 93 smithing. And uh, wait a minute, is that the right amount of points to finish Giant's Foundry? I need 22,515 and I have 22,516. So now it's time to get a ton of collection log slots. Oh, why? I might complete it. <laughs> Dwarf cannon quest to complete this log. No way. I actually could have completed the whole log at one go, but I don't have Dwarf cannon quest completed. This is uh, kind of awkward then. Um, let me... Maybe go and finish, uh, do the Dwarf Cannon quest then, and also let's open the ore sack, or pack. I got 30 coal. Hmm. And then... I have waited all this time to buy every single item from this minigame, except for the double ammo mold. I should have bought this outfit piece at a time, because this actually boosts the smithing in the minigame. It gives... Uh, more progress to the preform on every action, so it gives approximately 20% increased XP rates in the minigame. Well, I did it the hard way. I got a clan, or spammed away with this, these collection logs, so it was worth it that way. And now I think it's time to do a giant, not not the giant dwarf, a dwarf cannon quest, the easiest quest in the game, and also the gold I have gained. I started just under 10 million coins, and after making uh, 168 swords, I have 16.3 million coins. I gained 6.5 million coins approximately, 
by doing this just using the bars without any selling or anything doing smithing all the time and gaining really good xp rates so i can 100 percent recommend this minigame to anyone who wants just some nice smithing xp Worf cannon completed and now let's teleport to giant spawn tree and get the green collection log and buy it the double ammo mold by one one foundry reputation over from when i finished every single thing on here and now let me show you the collection log 118 collection log slots and giant's foundry done one of the few i have finished fishing trawler rogues den and now giant's foundry on the minigames tab Just did a little bit of puro puro, uh, wasn't able to record just at the right time, but I just got a couple of Amulet of Glories from Dragon Implants. Virtual cooking level of 100. And now, 200 million total XP on the Iron Man Skiller. 50 million fire making XP achieved. These are the last. I have now spent an X amount of time to buy coal from Blast Furnace Ore Shop. And the thing is, if my calculations are correct, this 21k coal is gonna get me from 93 to 99 mining while doing Giant's Boundary with the highest tier swords that are made by using 14 runite and 14 adamantite bars each so i need about 3.5k of each bars if my xp rate estimations are correct and i have over 500 each so i need to make like 3k of both now and that takes 21k coal so if this is correct i'm actually gonna get new 99 so quickly after the last one and 99 smithing is gonna be a really good and cool thing to get away Get away from the to-do list anyway now time to do actual blast furnace and smelt some bars and these are the last room bars that i have to make and also that's enough playing for today tomorrow i finish doing all the addy bars let's bank them just almost 3.6k addy bars and always 3.6k runite bars this should be the 99 smithing. Let's head to Giant's Foundry. First sword made at the Giant's Foundry and the finished sword count is 170. And also I think I had one point before so now I have 192 foundry reputation. And of course I forgot to get the exact coin amount I had before. So I started like 15.5 million let's say. About 15.5 million coins I started this grind ad. 94, 95, 96 smithing. First Jekyll and a random event. Back to back goes Dr. Jekylls. 97 smithing. 98 smithing. There it is, the last Zord. Let's hand it in to Kovac. 23k xp no one other commission thank you and 99 smithing has been achieved this mini game truly saved my smithing training giant foundry op on iron man because you need so much so many less bars to train smithing than the normal way okay so congratulations you are now a master smith why not visit turgo who lives near matskipa point he has something special that is only available to true masters of the smithing skill. Let's go there next. Okay, Turgo, let's buy a cape. Now we talk about skill capes. Of course, I'll pay you. Thank you. And then, of course, another one because I always take two. 
Oh god damn, it's looking sick! Smithing hood, smithing skill cape, and then the smith's uniform, smith's outfit. Let's do the mode, of course. That's so cool. Just got back to Giant Foundries and, and I wanna talk some stats. So I started with the sword count on 169, nice. And I finished up at 410, so I made 241 swords to get to, from 93 to 99 smithing. I calculated that one sword would be just about 23k XP to make an average. And I was left like uh, just a 100 bars, bars extra because I made even extra of my calculations. So 3.5k, like 3.4k bars at the end rune I bought to get from 93 to 99. Of course I have every mold and everything. And also the cash stack has grown very nicely. Uh, I started with 15.8 million coins. And I ended up with 20, 26.4 million basically. And also, I took the 200k away from this already to buy the skill coat that skill cape that I'm wearing. So that means I made like 11 mil from those levels, which is really nice. And then, of course, I need to, or I can use the points, not that I need to, but I can. I started basically i think i've had zero points or just under 100 something like that so a very low amount of points i had and now i have over 45k and the only thing that i can or well i can buy any of these but the only thing that makes sense to buy now because i own everything already is the ore packs and i think i can buy 225 or something like ore packs now so can i buy like oh they don't stack oh and they don't even go to the loot trucker. Okay. And these are the ores. So over 200 ore, ore packs and I got 9 runite ores. So these kind of suck. <laughs> so last 6 levels of smithing over 40k points and I get 1.3 million. Anyway, at least little bit of extra rewards. That clip is where I'm going to end this video. If you stayed so far, thank you. Don't forget to like and subscribe for the next one. And the next video is going to start off with some forestry clips. See you guys in the next one. Finnish Fox out.